Welcome to All About Peru. This is a kind of unusual clip. It doesn't have to do with much of anything. But about a year ago, we had a problem with our dryer. The igniter would not glow and ignite the propane. So we had a man come in and repair it. Well, we found out a few things about the dryer and what we should be doing. Now, first of all, the element that glowed to ignite the propane was broken. So we replaced that. But we also learned that there was a buildup of lint around the intake of the blower motor. Now this is down inside the machine and not easily accessible unless you take it all apart. But it was restricting the flow of air which was causing us to burn more propane and more electricity and the clothes weren't drying like they should. It was taking longer each time. So we found that out. So it was a good thing that we had this little problem that didn't cost that much to repair but it gave me an insight into what I should be doing about once a year. So what I try to do is uh, keep a preventive maintenance mo uh, program going. So go in once a year, have the man come in, completely disassemble it, clean everything up, check everything, check the bearings, check the shims, check the igniter, check the uh, burner system, and clean it, most importantly and this time we replace the uh, exhaust hose. Well here's something I learned. It's a good idea periodically, once a year, to have somebody come and take the dryer completely apart and check everything out. Make sure everything's working. Now this has all been cleaned up but where the real problem comes in is that is this point right here. Now from there up to about this point in this area, you can see my finger right here, that's where the filter is. That's where you take the lint out. The trick is <laughs> not all the lint gets out. It doesn't filter it all out. It accumulates right there. And it cuts the airflow down considerably. So all of a sudden it's taking longer and longer and longer to dry the clothes because you don't have the airflow. So just that itself will pay for the 60 solace that we paid to have this man do all this work. And he found there was a couple of shims that he needed that would have caused the problem later on. So something I never thought about was taking a dryer and having it serviced. But this is the second time we've had it done, and it's working out. It really does a great job. And you can see the airflow comes in and goes through here, around here, the drum, and eventually out that pipe, out the back, and then out the exhaust pipe. Not much to it until you go to buy one. The drum seems to be in good shape. We have a new hose. So he'll install that. So not a bad idea. And we have a new washer. And we'll give that about two years. It's got ten years of warranty on it. And when we get a couple of years under our belt, We'll have him come in, take and pop the top off, look it all over, check it out, see if there's any worn parts. Because if you have one worn part, such as this is a critical one right here, that right there, that's what supports the back end of this drum. If that fails, then it could tear up the whole drum. And you know, if you have to buy a new drum, you may as well buy a new dryer. a good idea. In fact, we've got some issues going with some of the switches here. It's kind of a weak point, but the way we have it now, it's working just fine. We can turn it on, turn it off, set the timer. That's all we need to do. We don't need to worry about delicate or background or whatever else. 
So, that's our project.